Hello, Coach Nate and Z here. All right, we're gonna work on our amount of tax saving today. Okay, all right, so here, an arm bar for now, right? So, one of the biggest mistakes people will make, and they do it all the time, even someone more experienced will do it. The more experienced they get, they're better not framing and not giving up their arms, but the most common thing someone will do, even up to the blue belt, and you'll see it even sometimes at the higher level too. When you're down here, they'll push on your chest. Especially if you're really cooking them and putting that pressure on and making them uncomfortable. They won't always just go like out like this for you and just give you their arms, but all it takes is a little bit for her to push on my chest like this, okay? As soon as she does that, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna put my hands on her chest like this. One hand right on top of the other. When I do this, one's under, one's over. The one that I'm over is the one that I'm gonna be attacking, okay? Let's change our angle right here. So you can see this part better, okay? Here, now the one that's over is the one that I'm attacking. Okay, now when I go to finish this arm bar, I'm gonna pop up here, and I use this leg to pinch it in tight so she can't pull that arm back so easily, okay? Now, one of the things that people have the hardest time with here is actually getting, getting this leg over, okay? It's because I've got weight on it right now. So to make this leg light, I need to lean towards the toes here. And as I do that, I pull up on this arm. Because this arm's mine, this is the one I want to attack. And now she knows her arm's in danger, so she's me pull it back. Okay, here, pull up on this arm. Okay, now that I lean towards the toes, this leg's light. I've got it in for her neck. I don't ever sit back until I have my leg over her head. I don't want to do one of these. Sit back and play, I'm going to lose the arm every time. Okay. So after I'm in this spot here, I have a real good, real good grip on this arm. Now I lean towards the toes, make this leg light here. Now I sit back. As I sit back, I want to make sure I sit in close. I don't fall back. I stay seated. And if you have a really good grip on this arm, a really good angle, I also pull it up towards me as well. I don't need to go all the way back. You're going to find out she's going to tap before my back hits the mat. If I'm all the way back here. Now I'm doing something wrong, okay? It's not a state, nearly as tight as it could be. So I'm here, I have this leg tight, this is arm tight, and I can grab my own collar to make it even better, pinch my heels in, and my knees together. Pull up on the arm this way, okay? Now, an extra little trick I like to do too, after I know that I'm, I've got the arm bar, a lot of people like this hitchhiker escape, especially her, she's really good at it. So, one way to kill that is grab the hand at the thumb right here. That's going to make it really hard for her to escape. Okay, now as I start to come back, she's going to tap before my back hits the mat. Okay, let's go over this again here. And the mount, she makes a mistake, pushes up on my chest. One arm over, one under. The one that's over is the one that, that's the one I'm attacking. Okay, now here. And this is a good uh, drill to practice too. You can practice on a dummy um, or even on the ground. Here, just this pop. Okay, I put all my weight on her chest when I do that. Now here, I lean towards the toes, pull this arm up, and I'm using my thigh to push into this arm so she doesn't pull it back. Foot over, pinch in, sit back. Okay, now I'm gonna pull up in this arm as I go back. My heels in, my, my knees pinch together. What I don't want to do, and I hate when people do this, is cross their feet right here. When I cross my feet, all I'm doing is taking weight off of her face. When I take weight of her face, she's going to be able to sit up into me and escape that armbar. Exactly. Now, if I'm here, my heels are pinched in and I'm here, I don't need to cross my feet there. This is actually a much better way to finish. Here. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time.